Hello there. So today's message um, comes from a Christmas carol. I know, shocking, not the Bible, but I wanted to do something different in honor of Christmas. And so I actually picked the song Good King Winslots. Now, the if you know the song, you understand there's a, vo a verse in there where basically this king and his aide are out traveling and they're going to visit people. And the aide is starting to get struggling through the snow. He basically follows his king's footsteps. What most people don't know, which I do because I happen to be a nerd and I look this stuff up, is that this is actually based off a real life person. In fact, Winslots is actually the English translation of this guy's name. He was actually a count in a Slavic country. And what he was notorious for was, even though he wasn't incredibly rich, he actually would go out in the middle of the night and he would make donations. Uh, it may be some coin, it may be food, it may be something else, blankets, stuff like that. He would do this in the middle of the night and he would do it anonymously. What makes this story more remarkable, and one of the reasons why uh, the Catholic Church canonized this guy, is because in order to do this, he basically had to do it barefoot. Uh, back then, they wore boots and stuff like that, and you could hear him coming. He did not want to wake up the people that he would anonymously make these donations. The reason that we know these stories about him is because eventually one of his aides, later on in life, told about it. Uh, he did it for a certain reason. And that's the reason why we can learn from this song, is the fact that basically good King Winslot, just like Jesus, realized that people followed in his footsteps. He realized that people pay attention to what we do, our actions and our words. And so he wanted to make sure that people knew how to act, how to react to situations. Now, the AIDS, again, they continued on his legacy to spread goodwill to men, to basically help those. And that's the reason why he took an aid with him. But there's another thing about that story. Remember I said he did it anonymously. He didn't want the aide to eventually, after his death, tell people about what happened. He wanted to do it for his own reason. See, Count Winslots knew uh, that basically praise of others doesn't mean anything. It's what's in your heart. It's what you feel. And that's why he did it. Because he wanted to feel better. He didn't seek recognition. He didn't want to seek fame. Uh, in fact, he probably, if he probably found out about his aides doing the stuff, he probably would have said, no, nah, that wasn't me. He's just making it up. Because that count to realize that do things for good for others only makes yourself feel better. And that's what he was doing it for, is because he wanted to fill a void in his life. Now, the reason that I'm outside doing this sermon on my cell phone, which is why it's so shaky, is because I wanted to experience that all right i wanted to feel how that felt like now it's only like 40 some odd degrees out here but i'm cold so when i'm out here in this cold weather i'm reminded of good king or the count twin slots i remember i'm reminded of what he did to spread that word and just like saint nick he did the same thing so it kind of brings me great pleasure in the fact that i'm trying to do things for other people and that's what gives me the strength so, in closing, I thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you gleaned a little bit of knowledge about either Good King Winslots or what God had intended and why he used Count Winslots as a tool to teach people. Uh, may this year be a good year for the rest of the year be good for you. May you have many blessings during the holiday season. And I thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye.